Well, hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm up and at them, and I'm gonna start my morning skincare routine. And I want to start off the vlog by sharing with you guys three benefits of using a salicylic acid face wash in the morning. I'm currently using the Peach Slices Salicylic Acid Cleanser. Previously, I was using that a big one. I think I showed up last weekend, but I finished it up. So I'm just gonna get started. You always wanna wash your face with cool to lukewarm water, never scalding hot, because that's just gonna dry out your skin. The goal of skincare is not to dry out your skin. Salicylic acid in a cleanser, you get the benefits of the ingredient with a shorter contact time, so that means less irritation. Of course, that means it takes a little bit longer for you to start seeing benefits, but it can still work. All right, salicylic acid can help in brightening up dark spots, hyperpigmentation, sunspots. It can inhibit the enzyme that leads to upregulation of pigment production. If you are trying to fight off dark spots, that is what you want. Calm down inflammation and put the brakes on tyrosinase. Um, salicylic acid can do both of those things. You don't need to go scrubbing and buffing. The gentle circles are to help guide the ingredient down into your pores, which is benefit number two. It, salicylic acid is comedolytic. So somebody is trying to annoy me. <sighs> Don't you just hate those robocallers? Benefit number two, which I was getting at, it's comedolytic. So it'll trickle down into your pores and help to break up the gluey stuck together skin cells and allow them to clear out. So it'll help unclog pores, and ultimately that's gonna help with acne control. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it off now. I'm just using it on my face, but if you wanted to, if you had these issues on your neck, you could use it on your neck, although it can be a little dry in there. I'm just going to blot off the excess drippy water, but I'm gonna keep my skin damp because the next benefit of using a salicylic acid face wash first thing in the morning is that it lowers the pH of your skin barrier ever so slightly, and that allows for better penetration of many active ingredients. And today I'm going to use, I've been loving these Regimen Labs uh, antioxidant serums. The vitamin X is great. Today I'm gonna to use the Level Serum. It's got niacinamide and it has tranexamic acid. So this is really good for skin brightening. The way I use this, I just do one pump to the back of one hand, put it on, This particular product has like a little bit of a lather to it. It's weird, it foams a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that. I think it's some emulsifier in the product. Then whatever's left on the back of my hand, I pat into my forehead. Then I do another pump on the back of the other hand. This stuff is not necessary, but anyways. Notice I did not use this around my eye. You don't want to use salicylic acid around the delicate skin of the eyelids, otherwise it'll dry out your eyelids and you'll have dry, peely eyelids. It'll be irritating. It will get down into the pores. See, it's oil loving, so that short contact time, you can derive benefit from it, as opposed to a leave-on form, which is another option that will give you some of these same benefits, but can be more drying. Um, but many people with oily skin tolerate leave-on salicylic acid just fine. Um, all right, so this is gonna take a moment to dry, and once it does, I'm going to do the most important thing, which is comment below if you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, then you have not been watching any of my videos. <laughs> Oh, the most important thing is sunscreen. Today I'm gonna wear the Cetaphil moisturizer with SPF 35. Do you guys like this spa turban thing I have? It just came in a PR box and it's by the brand Kitsch. I actually really like it because you can, it's Velcro and it has a little hole in the back for a ponytail.
I came over here to the art asylum, but it seems as though they're closed for the day, which the hours on the door say they should be open, but I don't know. Anyways, um, I got an iced coffee here from Brass Tacks, except I do not enjoy paper straws, I know. Better for the environment, but I just don't like the feel of them. Anyways, it's pretty good coffee. Um, I think I'm gonna run over to Sprouts because I'm out of Kite Hill yogurt. <laughs> you know, now that things are opening up, I try and get out a little bit more. <laughs> Show you guys that I don't just live in that one room of several walls. Anyways, yeah, it's actually a really nice day out. I was complaining about the weather yesterday, but truthfully, I kind of like the way it's been lately because it's not boiling hot. I mean, it's hot, but without that sun beating down on you, it feels less severe somehow. <clears throat> Our sun, the sun here is intense <laughs> and it's been a little mild lately. It's been uh, hopefully shining somewhere where it needs to be. I've used this Now Solutions brand shea butter before. It's pretty good, but the Alafia looks like a good one. I like to use shea butter. Some moisturizer. Quite the selection here of scented lotions. Winged body oil of CBD. How are these Nubian Heritage lotions? Are they any good? As far as consistency, coconut, papaya, it sounds good. I had a shampoo, I think, that was Nubian Heritage and it was pretty good. I had a little rollerball fragrance by this Kumalia made and it was quite good. It was like a, I think it was an amber rollerball. Mm, I've had these spry gums before. Looks like they got a shinier label. Oh, sweet. Sprout ha Sprouts has the passion fruit hibiscus teas and they're on sale. Yeah. Snag too. They're so good. You guys had this poppy. I really like um, Olipop, the probiotic soda, but I haven't had poppy. Well, hey guys, I just uh, popped out of the shower, did my skincare routine. I've got my little heart PJs on. I have a skincare empty here for you guys. Paula's Choice Omega Plus Complex Cleansing Balm. I have been super happy with this. Very effective at removing the Aven tinted, uh, water resistant sunscreen, plus the compact, plus the Color Science Facial Flex, which is a pretty hardy layer of sunscreen, that Color Science Flex. <clears throat> it's, um, you know, it's pretty opaque, and that's great because that's what helps with blocking visible light, the iron oxides, but uh, you just need a little bit more help in terms of removing it. And that's why I like using cleansing balms or cleansing oils to just break that film up. I find it's a lot easier when you actually go to wash your face with a gentle cleanser, if you have done that first. You know, you can use a regular oil, like a lot of people like to use coconut oil, which you know, for some people that can break them out. Um, unfortunately, when you use just regular oil, which definitely is an option, they don't have that emulsifier piece. So sometimes it's harder to actually get those when to, to rinse off in total. That's why a lot of people find that they leave kind of a almost oily film behind on the skin. Shampooed my hair. I shampoo my hair every night, but I focus the lather on the scalp. Um, because for me, if I don't shampoo nightly, I will have pretty greasy hair and I just make a lot more oil on for my scalp. I can get away actually without shampooing like one or two nights, but I just feel, I don't know, I just don't, I'm not, I'm not about that dry shampoo life as you guys know. Been super happy with this detangler, but I'm actually going to come in with the Function of Beauty hair serum tonight. I like to put these types of products on my end as I throw that down my ends. 
Well, I'm bummed we couldn't go into the art asylum together because that place is a ton of fun. I had that all planned out. I was excited to go look in there because I fell down the rabbit hole. I found a YouTuber. You ever, you know, you kind of discover a fun YouTuber and you watch a bunch of their videos and then they inspire you to go buy something. This YouTuber, Laura Jane, I think it's her name, Laura Jane Atelier. She, her channel is all about like, um, uh, retro stuff, like stuff from the 50s and 60s. And she's really into like old Hollywood. And she goes through like these cool magazines and stuff or books. She kind of goes through like what a famous celebrity from that time did as far as their skincare routine. So that's a lot of fun. I highly recommend checking that out. I think you guys would really enjoy those videos that she does. Like she has a video on, I think Marilyn Monroe's skincare routine. So those are really fun. Like the products that they use. She has another video on like <clears throat> skincare products from the fifties that you can still buy today or something like that. Um, anyways, I went down the rabbit hole of her channel and um, so I wanted to go to the art asylum because she has all this cool retro stuff in her filming area, which is in her bedroom. And I was like, oh, I wanna go to the art asylum. Um, so I had it in my head, I was gonna go to the art asylum today. It was closed, but if you missed yesterday's vlog, check it out, it will be on the next slide. But if you guys enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.